Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family, and the, the puppies are here to say hello, too. Rama says hello. Sita says hello. Hello. <laughs> and they're doing, they're getting good. They're getting better. They're getting much better at saying hello and doing the opening with us. Yes, indeed. And we want to thank our patrons, as always. Yes, we want to say a huge thank you to Sandy, Kathy, and Diana. You guys really help us make this possible to keep getting this information out the way we do. So much going on and so much uh, kind of coming to a head here. So we have Texas Governor Greg Abbott officially declaring an invasion at the border due to uh, 46's policies and will deploy the Texas National Guard. Doesn't it feel like deja vu? Didn't we already do this? Uh, has anything really changed? Nothing's really changed. And you know the reality is, too, it's not just the U.S. It's all the NATO countries. This is something much, much bigger. And yes, you know, somebody made a comment. They're just looking for a better life. Well, I, we can understand that. Many things have been done in search of a better life. And many European settlers came to the United States in search of a better life. But what about the Native Americans that were already there? Well, they got pushed off their land. They got herded into reservations because other people were just looking for a better life. And now, you know, we are the ones that are going to be facing this. The reality is, it's the system itself that causes all this chaos. There, there does not need to be this kind of chaos. You know, wherever people are, that area could be made better if the political structure was a little bit different, you know. But when I'm looking at these people that are coming over, they, I, I'm seeing middle... You know, younger men, middle-aged men, I don't see a lot of women and children there. It's like groups and, and groups and groups of these men that I would think that they would be big and strong to make wherever they're at a, a healthy, safe place to be. But they keep coming over and in droves. And we don't have, we really have nowhere to put them. We have no way to, to feed them, to keep them safe. So is it fair to take them from their homeland where they could be rooted and bring them over here. I mean, things just do not add up. They don't make sense unless you look at it in the idea that this is more of an invasion and they are promising people something that, um, well, I, I don't think it's a, it's, it's a very good idea. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and again, the people that were in the military, uh, let's say for Nazi Germany and World War II, they were just trying to give their family a better life by, you know, earning a good wage and quote unquote serving your country. But what really happened? What happened to all the people in those camps? You know, and, and we see it time and time again. There was a security guy for the WEF, uh, you know, over in Davos, and he was interviewed. And the guys, the, you know, he was asked, why are you doing this? Why are you supporting these people? Well, I got to make a living. Some people don't think that there's other options. They just, they'll do whatever, you know, well, look at Prigozhin's crew, Wagner Group. Again, just people that will kill <laughs> for the better paycheck. Unfortunately, this is the reality we have, is some people will do anything to get them and theirs ahead, including trampling underfoot anybody else. And, and that's just really what we have with the leadership of of the planet and it's the planet too it's not any one particular nation it's it's really all the nations as again it's it's really one system that's loaded with people that are all looking to do better for their families but it's at the expense of everybody else so here we see texas installed razor wire at eagle pass to stop the illegal crossings and of course, then the federal agents come in and they cut it all. And, and this has happened time and time again. We were talking about uh, a location where China, uh, let's just say a person of uh, extreme wealth that comes from China, had bought a ton of acres right on the border. And you had Texas National Guard sending people away and pushing people away. And then you had the feds come in and say, oh, no. Uh, the owner of this land doesn't mind let them in. You know, this is exactly what's been going on. 
And yet, when uh, Greg Abbott was asked, what about your page in the WEF? Will you disavow the WEF? He sidestepped it. He sidestepped, because he does have a page there. He is one of their people, according to the WEF. So he was asked, do you denounce the WEF, Klaus Schwab, and the Great Reset? Rather than a simple yes or no, he replied, listen, I'm not a globalist. I'm a Texas first and America first person. And then he was, uh, again, repeated the question, but do you denounce Klaus Schwab and the Great Reset? And he dodged the question again. Instead, he said, I promote Texas and America. This is exactly, this is the the politician's way of doing things. Because the reality is, you know, they serve a certain master and it's not us. So here you see uh, basically half a million people have come in from Venezuela, half a million. And Venezuela, what happened to Venezuela? Well, the U.S. policies made it so people were starving and they were literally uh, butchering cows in the field to grab a leg to bring home to the family so they could eat. You know, you had the runaway hyperinflation it was just, it was horrible. And Venezuela, with natural resources it has, should not be an impoverished country. But most of the migrants coming in are coming in from Venezuela. Again, these are people that harbor, well, they certainly don't have fond memories of what was done to them by the U.S. government. And you have to realize, do you think people in, in Syria or Iran or Iraq or Afghanistan or many different African nations have fond memories of what the U.S. military in those countries and and what the U.S. uh, economic policy on those countries has done to them. No, this is that they're looking. Uh, you know, yes, uh, some are looking to just simply better themselves. But we're having that history lesson. Many harbor resentment, anger, and and in in many cases, absolutely, rightfully so. It's it's the leadership. It's not the average American citizen. But again, that doesn't matter. When nine eleven happened, there was two thousand uh, or so U.S. citizens that lost their lives that day, and then in the ensuing wars, about five million other people lost their lives because of the decisions of the leadership. And we all understand uh, how the towers and everything really went. So yeah, mass illegal crossings is still ongoing. And, you know, there was massive waves of Haitians. Now Haiti is another country so impoverished and it really shouldn't be that way. But again, it's the system because when you have so much energy, so much resources, tied up in the hands of just a few this is this is the system is an atrocity yet we're brought up thinking you know there's only one way and that's the capitalist way or you must be a communist or a socialist those are all the controller systems all of those are the controller systems You know, in looking at these guys walking across the border I could only imagine so many of them were witness to Uh, other people struggling to try to find food to feed their children and understandably as a human being that's horrible you never want to see anyone starve ever a child you don't want to see a pregnant mom not have food you don't want to see any of this stuff going on And and I have a feeling that a lot of them witnessed that and they didn't need to witness that that's the thing the control grid there, there need not be such scarcity and resources, but they do this on purpose. And again, it's global. It's this is a planetary issue that they have created. And and just you know, bluntly, many are are looking to come here really just for revenge because you know they they want to uh, strike back at the great Satan, even though it's not the American people, it's the leadership that's done this and and this is what this system does time and time again as half a million venezuelan uh, illegal migrants 
are going to be able to live and work in the U.S. legally. This is the the great uh, reshuffle, we can say. And so, you know, this gentleman swears and expletive deletives uh, a lot, as we can see. So I'm, I'm not going to play it because, you know, again, swears can get you in trouble with the YouTube algorithms. And, you know, it, it's just the way it is, unfortunately. As you can see, he's going by and he's he's getting everybody's face faces and this one doesn't like it that one doesn't like it and you know it's getting tense now the astrological positioning that's coming up in, in the next week really starting like friday uh is such that it feels like things are going to come to a, a boil and overboil you now what's that going to look like well that's the big question what's it going to look like by the way uh, per multiple CBP sources, a legal migrant from Peru charged with murder in connection with a homicide in Eagle Pass, Texas, was first caught by Border Patrol crossing illegally into Eagle Pass in May and was released into the U.S. with a court date in 2025. By 2025, the U.S. might be split up into four or five pieces. You know, this it all depends on how quickly people wake up to what's going on because, you know, nothing is set in stone. So you have somebody, you know, that is is likely a murderer that was totally released uh, and it could be roaming anywhere. It could be, you know, right by a schoolyard somewhere. This is just an insane situation, but you have to realize it's order out of chaos. This is what they do. This is what they do. Nothing is set in stone, and you know their best laid plans, which you know again they use AI algorithms to to go through likelihoods of what's going to be the most successful, and they do utilize uh, astrology, specifically Vedic astrology, because it's it is simply more accurate into when to launch uh, certain programs, when to not do something, and when to be more aggressively doing something. So again, the time period coming up is is going to be a critical one, and it has all to do with Mars and Saturn, which again, it, it, just to simplify the energies, a lot of that energy is very aggressive energy, can be warlike, and then also karmic repercussions. Think about it. Warlike, aggressive energy, karmic repercussions. And we see people coming in to the U.S. again from Syria, from Venezuela, Afghanistan, from, from all these different countries that the U.S. has incurred real karmic debt. And again, even though we don't make the decisions, we're still in that structure and we get exposed to what the government does. So it's pretty clear. And so you have a California city plans to grant illegal immigrants the right to vote. Yeah, yeah. Here, here. You know, they've done this stuff in the past. You know, in fact, they used to take uh, the Irish immigrants r right off the boats, sign them up, and in some cases... Uh, sign them right into the military and they'll find themselves going off you know to fight the Spanish American war or yeah you know, this is just what the system does and they make people desperate because again the leadership itself hoards all the resources causing all these really fake false insecurities that we don't have to have you know with with the situation in the food supply it's it's gotten to be very obvious i think for most that this is completely a manufactured event that we have going on california senate senate approves 300 dollar weekly checks for unemployed illegals and the california exit tax and wealth tax for 10 years after you leave california you know, if, if you are worth millions for 10 years after you leave California, they can tax you. And not only that, they may take children from parents who oppose certain things. Again, you know, certain states lead the way. And, you know, California is one that is obviously leading the way. 
But then again, there's another poster boy for the, the few. It makes perfect sense when you understand the bigger plan. Here's hundreds of humans who identify as dogs in Berlin advocating for the right of people who identify as dogs. Obviously, they're being facetious, but you know, this is what you have. See, this is coming to a head. And the time period ahead of us, just ahead of us, all the astrological positioning is showing that I think people are getting to the breaking point. And here you have tons of people up in Ottawa that are are just fed up with it. And, you know, again, they, they do the best to not show you what's going on as far as the protests, but it, it's, it's coming to a town near you. And we do have that worst global food crisis in modern history, and it's about to go to an entirely new level. And right now we have basically somewhere about 10% of the population that is facing the possibility of starving. That's going to triple in just the the very near future. And when you have starving, literally starving people, and yet you have wealth, uh, like you see, not just with Gates and Bezos and Soros and all those guys, but still many, many more have benefited so greatly from the plague upon the land. And people are waking up to that fact. Just think about the French Revolution 2.0 and, and what that would look like on a global level. Yeah, um, you know, becoming self-sufficient in a way that uh, is probably going to have a bit of a learning curve because over the years we've lost all of the information that we had when our grandparents, great-grandparents had a garden and what they used for pesticides. All of this information has been lost a lot of herbal remedies have been lost and these are things that I'm really encouraging people to start taking notes in your own home to know what works for you what is going to work for you take notes learn as much as you can off off the internet about how to can how to prepare food how to garden how to naturally uh, use you know natural pesticides so important right now because they are taking all the information offline at kind of a, a high and steady rate. They're not just really taking it down as much as they are shifting the algorithm so that this stuff does not get into the forefront. But we are going to need it. It's, it's gonna, there's going to come a time where they're going to make people so uncomfortable. They're going to kind of give them the crunch and it might look more advantageous to go and be in a cell city than starving out in the country and we really need to start getting ready now and when we look at this this is showing carbon emissions look at china more than double the u.s but where's the netherlands we were talking about the farmers in the netherlands that had to slaughter where's ireland you know they had to slaughter all their cows or they're cutting down trees they're not even anywhere around here. It, it's it's they're they're just a tiny little fraction. Yeah, it's not about carbon emissions, you know. And and the world is maybe naive overall, but you know, I, again, they're they're counting on a level of stupid that is is it's just not going to happen. So, what's going to happen is you know again, people are are going to realize this and. It's, it's going to get ugly for the most part, and we have to be aware of that. NATO fracturing in a U-turn, Poland announces it will no longer arm Ukraine. Well, there's going to be elections uh, October 15th, so you know, watch for, watch for a change in leadership if it stays in, on this course, because again, uh, we understand how uh, the selective process works violence erupts now this is in armenian capital and again uh armenia azerbaijan it's it's been an ugly situation and and again breaks down a lot to you know religion and and christianity and islam and also different uh tribal you know alliances this has always been how they 
operate, divide and conquer, get us fighting ourselves. Again, Machiavelli's book, The Prince, talks all about this. You know, what you do is, is you foster the conflict and you stand back. And then as your, uh, quote unquote, your, your enemies destroy each other, you swoop in and take everything. And this is what the leadership of the planet always does. In Syria, by the way, on the verge of collapse, as the largest part of Syria is truly controlled by Russia when you get down to it, and then the second largest part is right now controlled by the U.S., and then you have Turkey there as well. And you know wh- who suffers? Well, obviously just the Syrian people do. As so many people have lost their lives, lost their, their way of living, what we see in Ukraine, you know, Ukraine is, is looking like another... Uh, Syrian type disaster uh, Iraq went through this Afghanistan's had nothing but decades of war and and now they plan on bringing the same sort of thing to the US and NATO countries how could they possibly get away with all this well fluoride you know again it's not all fluoride but we can see I mean there's been so many studies that you know fluoride was used as rat poison and it was also used again in World War II to keep the people in the camps dumbed down and calm. And you have studies that show people lose IQ points, massive IQ points, by drinking fluoride. And it's in everybody's water. It's never been about your teeth. I haven't used fluoride in decades. And, and I haven't had any cavities in decades, actually, going back to being... Uh, about 12 years old, and and again, we don't use fluoride. Hell no, excuse my language there. And all sorts of other uh, things, complications. 300% higher risk. Yeah. This, this shows the bigger picture. And, you know, many people are waking up to it. The sun is getting more active, just so you you know. And as you can see, the KP, we've been tracing it right now, coming back down. Uh, but there's a lot more activity going on. There, as you can see, all the sunspot regions. And, and again, all these uh, emissions that we had, as we had a uh, M-class solar flare in 8.2, they are going to be triggering an awakening and the awakening is happening don't forget october 4th you know they're going to be sending out their ebs emergency broadcast system emergency alert messages to your phones they've already done that in 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 several countries uh they also have a backup date of october 11th in case anything happened but october 4th is very interesting because back in 1582, October 4th, they disappeared 10 days. What do you mean they disappeared 10 days? 10 days that vanished. Well, they switched the calendar from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar. And who did this? The church did. And so it goes all the way back to the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD. And they decreed that you're talking about Easter, it should fall on the first Sunday following the first full moon after the vernal equinox. And as time went on, everything started to shift and get to be uh, more of an issue. So they knew they had to change the calendar again, uh, and they did. And what they really came up with was uh, an <laughs> interesting situation because you know you go, you went from October 4th, you went to bed October 4th, and you woke up October 15th. (laughs) Talk about there really is no time. (laughs) There there you go. There you have it. There is no time. Time is a man-made construct. It's written there on the on the calendar on the wall. But you also look at this and and you got to wonder, you know, the church has this information. So the dates and the times that they have us set up to celebrate certain certain alignments you know christmas easter things of that nature well it's it's a little bit twisted and then you look at things like i don't know the mayan calendar and i i realized that uh that wasn't what we thought it was too but the church has all is all of this information they're definitely the ones in charge and they're gonna allow us to know what they want us to know and they work just as much through the media 
as anyone else. So we're kind of at a disadvantage unless we detach ourselves from the matrix, which I do want to make a really good video because I've been talking to some people lately. I think we're going to do it on Heart's Own. There has been something very curious happening in our matrix in the higher dimensions that I notice is affecting many, many people. And I want to talk about that. And I think I think it's going to help some people. It sounds good. I, I look forward to listening to you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have great conversations all day long. It's such a blessing to be married to this one. So, you know, some of the Protestant regions of Germany and the Netherlands switched in the 17th century. Great Britain and the territories of the British Empire followed suit in 1752. So, you know, for a long period of time, there were different dates. And again, we see that with Orthodox Easter, right? I mean, Orthodox holidays, like uh, January 6th, you know, and all, and the Orthodox Church. Yeah, fascinating, but they actually vanished 10 days. Did they pick October 4th for a reason? Because some people are saying, you know, that they feel this might be when we actually have some sort of blip, like lose power. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I really wouldn't be. And what we see with everything uh, is that we, it looks like we're heading towards a, a very, very glitchy time, to say the least. So you, we really need to expect anything. Look at this. This is this is what many are claiming to be the president's stunt double, exiting a back parking lot with no secret service. This is curious, and, and the walk uh, feels really weird. So, yeah, just curious. But as we know, there's there's quite a few. And, and the original is is retired. Let's just put it that way. Right, we'll put it that way. Yeah. And here you have Klaus bragging about giving the Club of Rome, the original architects of uh, many things, their first big platform going to hint on the global governments is the only solution to the climate crisis. Yeah, a corporate governance and, you know, the elimination of, of individual nations. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's all right there. And again, if you were reading books that were printed back in the 70s and 80s, you'll see a lot more of the Club of Rome. You won't see anything really about the WEF. Boom, the first big platform. I share with you the concern and um, I think we can solve those issues only if we repair our global architecture and our global system. I've worked on... Repair, yes, 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 we know, Klaus. And this, um, let me share this, because again, you'll have people that have never really thought about anything but you know what what we're gonna have are we gonna have pepperoni and onion or are we gonna have sausage and pepper domino's pizza for dinner i mean do we have pepsi or do we have coke and you know they'll just laugh off the concept of other dimensions and 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 dimensional beings but then at the same time they'll believe in in demons and yeah well let's go ahead sweet well i just i really i really want to share this is so cool the reason i want to show this is because it gives people an understanding of how elementals and other entities work in inside your mind they can actually block you from seeing certain things and mike and i have gone through this a lot and oh, i yeah. i tell people you know ask your finders to help you if you're missing something you know and you might be looking for your keys and all the while the keys are on the counter and you're looking, 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 and you've looked on the counter 20 times, and you ask your finders to help you, and you turn around, and you can now see your keys on the counter. And I really enjoyed the way she, she put this. This two-dimensional creature has locked some precious gems away in a safe. She's checked the safe from every angle, and is sure that no one will be able to break in without a key. But she hasn't taken into account the idea that a three-dimensional creature, such as myself, might be peering in from above. 
She doesn't even know the concept of a bulb. I could steal these gems without a key and without damaging the safe, and she would have no idea how they were taken. But we should keep an eye out for ourselves. A four-dimensional creature could steal from our safes without a key. Could take the yolk from an egg without breaking the shell, appear in a closed room, or see inside of our brains. The fourth dimension is perpendicular to all of our normal 3D space directions, and we have no walls up against that direction. This two-dimensional creep. So yeah, that is um, that's good. That's fun, and and maybe it gives people an idea of the bigger picture again beings can appear to be god and many people will say well look at this or that prediction look at i mean hey you know you're gonna have the mark of the beast so that means everything that the bible says must be right no no you know it's time to wake up and understand the bigger paradigm here right other beings have access to that information and make themselves out to be gods so you know not not so much yeah, and and somebody else that was obviously very um, Catholic made a comment again talking about, well, what about the miracles at Fatima and this and that? And it's belief, belief. I mean, I could show you and do a video of thousands of miracles uh, attributed to the Hindu deities where statues have given milk and things like that. Uh, even emitted fragrances like roses, you know, with no clear ex explanation, uh, miraculous healings. It's in all faiths. It's again, it's because the universe, everything is mind stuff. Nothing is more real than consciousness. Consciousness creates this to explore. So it's just part of the paradigm. It's part of the programming. And it's, it's for us to enjoy. It really is, and it's just been hijacked. It's been hijacked, but again, it's going to be taken back. It's just a matter of time. But there are also those that will willfully, uh, unfortunately, uh, go and, and stay in a slavery. They'll, they will choose slavery, and they will choose so thinking that they're literally serving their God. And that's, that's really very, very sad because... The Creator is within all of us and wants each one of us to live our own unique life in a unique way and view things from our own unique perspective. One size never fits all. Definitely. And this is so adorable. It says at the top, in a world where you can be anything, be kind because that's something that we need now more than ever. Absolutely. Thank you guys again for your support on Patreon, also on Ko-Fi. If you do need to make an appointment with us, it's evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com. And do check out evolutionaryenergyarts.com if you haven't to learn more about us. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.